All right, guys, welcome back to number six with cheese. As you know, every week we like to give away one of our hot sauces, our sixer sauce. All you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then just take a little screen grab of it with your phone and DM us that screen grab at number six with cheese on Instagram. So today, let's go ahead and pick a winner. So Corey, flip it around. Gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, bam, bam. Nathan Quinn, right there. I hope I win. My brother is a hothead and wants to try y'all's sauce. Well, Nathan Quinn, your brother's about to try it. He's about to DM you, let you know you won. Now, onto the food review. We got, we gave a hot sauce away, now we're doing a food review. Great day. Cobra Lounge. Hey, can I place an order for takeout for food? How long do we want to get today? Um, I just need two of those, uh, the blob hot dogs. Two of the blob? Yeah. All right. Guys, hello, welcome back to number six with cheese. Today, we're actually getting food at a brewery, All Rise Brewing in the West Loop area. They have a thing called The Blob. It's a new menu item, it's a crazy looking hot dog. Look at this damn thing. And Sean's college nickname. Yes, and my college nickname, The Blob. Thanks, man. <laughs> glad you guys are here. I'm glad some of you are here. If anybody liked that joke, I'm not glad you're here. Uh, also, we're doing a Patreon shout out for one of our biggest supporters, I'm not kidding. Slippy Jones, he signed up for the $10 tier. He has been supporting us for years in a number of different ways. I don't know, Patreon, always buying merch, always hanging out in our Patreon hangouts. He's the man, we appreciate you. And everyone who, who helps us through Patreon, you guys are all, like have such an impact, impact on our channel. We can't thank you enough. So patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. If you want to help us out, head on over there and figure out a tier for yourself. All that support, you guys get a Corey Wagner mustache close ah! Yeah, give it to him. in that bag from All Rise Brewing and Cobra Lounge acquired Jump Cut. All right, let Corey Wagner take you in for a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's open this up. All right, okay. These fries look good too. So there's the blob. It's a Vienna beef hot dog topped with sloppy joe, nacho cheese, potato chips, banana peppers, and ranch dressing. Sounds like one of the most American things I've ever heard of in my life. Yeah, just a little box lunch there. Right. <laughs> really good after eating that. Mm, mm. Corey said to me when we weren't filming, he was like, the blob made you think of heavyweights. Yes. Great movie. I never used one of those things. I never went to camp. I wasn't a summer camp kid. I never, didn't have a friend with a lake. Yeah, I used one before. I go to camp store. I dig it. Dig the fries. The fries are really good. Mm -hmm. We almost tried coming here, like last year, I want to say, to get the, uh, wasn't it like the Vienna beef soup? <laughs> I was going to mm. get like the hot dog soup. Their menu here is kind of wild. They do a bunch of crazy For stuff. real. All right, you guys, big old loaded blobs. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm, that's good. Yeah, I love the banana pepper edition. Banana peppers are like one of my new favorite things to add to food. I love that. Mm. I love the sloppy joe. I'm such a sloppy joe guy, though. Yep, really good like mix of things, like textures. The crunchy chips, mm -hmm. banana peppers even have a little bit of texture to them. Mm -hmm. And then the snap of the dog, the cheese and the chili, it's like a chili cheese dog, you know, in a sense. Yeah. But the sloppy joe is just a little bit better. And then they, they picked a really hearty bun to hold it all together, but it's not too bready to me. Yeah, it's not. Right. Mainly because there's so much food here. Yeah. It balances out. Mm-hmm. This is about, like you said, as American, American as it gets. Yeah, dog, sloppy joe, nacho cheese, I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh my God, this is, I'm impressed. I like this. Mm-hmm. I like that. Oh my God, the ranch dressing. There was a, yeah, right? I totally forgot about that. It just hit me like a wave. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. There was a place in Finley when I worked there. Mm-hmm called Jim's Hot Dogs, or Jim's Dogs maybe. And they do stuff like this where they'd have like sloppy joe or chili with chips on it. Yeah. And it was great. And then he had to, he didn't have to. He decided to change it because he also had a, a gym called Jim's Gym. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, I had to. I couldn't I couldn't <laughs> keep serving people, like making people fatter right. while believing in health <laughs> consciousness so much we turned into like a smoothie place and I never went there again. Oh yeah, that'll, <laughs> that'll end it, that'll end it. All right, so this menu, 
while I was waiting to check out. Mm. All Rise always has such a wild menu of stuff. Also a great place to see a show, Kerber Lounge. Awesome venue. On this menu, they have an Italian beef quesabiria. Mm. They have beer lotes, like beer elotes, okay. which looked absolutely insane. A fundido mac and cheese, just churros. Churros on the appetizer yeah, menu. Makes it's a lot very more funny. Sense there, it's yeah. not on the dessert menu. This is just such a great menu. People also, it's like 50 degrees today, a little over. Just sitting on the patio, enjoying it. That's what's up. Having a great little lunch. That's, That's like Chicago midday. For you. That's Chicago as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. That's this a great, how much was this? All of this food though, fries, they had to come with a side, salad or fries. This was 27 bucks for everything. Mm -hmm. So about 13 and some change for each of us. You know, this is a pretty hearty hot dog. Mm -hmm. And it comes with like a fair amount of fries. That's a lot of fries. It's a lot of fries. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is necessarily a bad deal. Same. 13 bucks? Okay. Same. These fries are fantastic by the way. Are these double deep fries? Is they that how feel, they get them they, so good? They feel like a little double fry action. Which I love that. More texture, more crisp to them. Mm -hmm. They hold their weight. These would also be really good with chili cheese on them. Oh my God. Put some of that sloppy joe and that cheese on the, these. This is the type of fry that chili cheese should come on because you need a hardier thing so it doesn't just get to Sog City. Completely agree. I also love ruffles. Ruffles are, I wouldn't say I love them, but I know. I'm one of those people that oddly thinks they're one of the best chip. Okay. I know that's an unpopular opinion. I love all flavors, but I love just original plain ruffles. Okay. Love them. And then I get like a hell of a good dip, and I'm just fat as you as can be. I'm a blob. You are the, you're the blob. One of my favorite combos is just plain ruffles and hell of a good dip. Okay. Thanks to the hell of a good sideline snacker. When you guys super thanks the show, you get a shout out. Shout out to Derek Boudreaux, Aaron Bell, Derek Boudreaux again, Miscellaneous Moon, Gary, Clutch, Clark, Derek Boudreaux, Derek Boudreaux, Derek Boudreaux. I love this one. Rich T. Ohio. Great name. Yes. And Stephen Carrington and Derek Boudreau and Antonio Hernandez. Thank you guys so much for Super Thanks to the Show. There's a little money icon, you can click that. Super Thanks to the Show, you get a shout out. It goes so, so far. So thank you so, so much. Hey now! Hey now! Hey now! It's rating time. The whiteboard action is back. If you didn't see, we now rate on the whiteboards. We flip our scores at the same time. We'll let you know what we thought of it out of five. Okay. What do you think I got so far? I think I saw a nine in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I should be using the mirror. <laughs> oh, it won't turn in anymore. <laughs> I was trying to turn it in. On the count of three, flip your whiteboard to reveal your score for the blob. One, two, three. Ah! 4.5, 4 4.1. Pretty close. I think the main reason that I gave it a higher score yeah. is because I just like, like that I'm taking that shot. I think a lot of it for I love me, a good food like, shot. Yeah, it was like a the fun, the antics of it all. I agree. It, I think it, it, also you have to taste really good. I think yes. it tasted really good. You have to be priced right. I think it was priced fair. And it feels like if you're someone who likes to go around and try some like fun Chicago stuff. Yes. 100% go do that. Yes. I love that they use banana peppers. It wasn't just chili and cheese. It was sloppy Joe yeah. meat. Yeah. That was a cool thing. Everything filled out the bun. We took a bunch of photos and I moved it to Corey's like lap to do stuff and back. It stayed together. Difficult. Like, honestly, Surprisingly. like I don't order hot dogs like in this sense. Like I don't no. go to a brewery and get a hot dog. No. And I think you should actually really get that. No, I do too. That's I would a great specialty. That. Um, I love the weirdness of it, and it, the ranch on top was a was a reach, and that worked out really well. Yes, it's agreed. it's also at the same time a hot dog and fries, still a lot of food, but for thirteen bucks, that's more like burger territory to me a little bit. Like maybe that agreed. wasn't. But, I mean, a 4 one for a hot dog and fries at a brewery, to me, is a damn good score. I think so. I think you're right. I think if you're ever around here, also, one of my favorite breweries to go to in the city. So All Rise is in my top five. I love it in there. It's very, like, punk, kind of alternative very. vibe, and it's just, like, I don't have any tattoos. I'm the lamest human being that, like, obviously, look how I dress. But, like, I feel cool being in there. It's one of those places. Yeah. Guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel. It's Corey. I'm Sean. Five days a week, we put out content. We've been doing it for years and years and years, so please support the show. And then also here today, comment. If you're watching the show and you don't normally comment, I bet today's the day because it's hot dog talking time. What is your ideal condiment, ingredient, schmattering on a hot dog? You got a bunch of stuff on that one here today. What would be your ideal hot dog smorgasbord? Let us know in the comments. That's interesting. Um, like, that's an interesting way to phrase that. It sure was. Because there's a place <laughs> in Toledo called the Ideal Hot Dogs. Ooh, and it's good. I really liked yeah. it. They uh, got a great chili mac there too. 
Yeah, yeah, they do. I love that place. Um, I also like went back and watched like how much I liked Nettie's, which is like a Dairy Queen yeah, hot dogs. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. Toledo's uh, got some good hot dogs, man. Got some dogs. They don't got uh, the snap. I'll, I'll give Detroit that. They don't. They don't the yeah, they don't. They don't tell, come close to Detroit. Toledo is just Detroit's little brother, if you will. I mean, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, good. Comment that below. We'll chat hot dogs here today. Shout out to All Rise for making a great menu, and we'll see you guys very soon for a new episode. Thank you for being here. Go buy this. You forgot to buy that. It's out of, it's out of stock. You can still get this. Don't be like that. <laughs>